Okay, listen here, lady. We've got some goddamn sound quality issues going on here that I don't think can be fixed. Because it's doing it on purpose again, Lord. Why do you keep doing this to me? Can you not just have a fucking sound quality? Because all the other old songs were crisp and perfect. I guess I fucked with this computer too much. I think this motherfucker's lost its touch. I even bought a new webcam. It's worse than the first one. Should have went back to the old one. Yeah, back to the old days. I'm a fucking soup can man. I don't even fuck with phones. I got two phones. None of them work. Baby, I'm just gone. And I have a rap to tell you about. This is about my my grandpa's prison experience. Ten years behind the walls. In Johnson, Tennessee. They called him Thor's in it, baby. Yeah, he was the one that you... That she would probably watch out for. He would whoop that ass, baby, as soon as the guard slammed the door. If you fucked with him, he had gold chains all up in the fucking prison system because he was still slanging, still a ringing. They say, Randy, the head started to rain, their fucking ears perked up. They knew that this shit was all fucked up. But hey, what are you gonna do behind bars? You can't run, you can't really do nothing. A man doesn't do you fucking time, be a fucking man. Always had to understand. Uh, and then all of a sudden, they's like, you want to wear a paper skirt again? Put your goddamn hands through the pie hole. We're about to cuff you up. Take you to the chow hall, baby, before they fuck you up. And then we're going to give you a couple pills. But little did they know, Thorazine was not a good deal. It was bad. <laughs> this would leave a bad taste up in your mouth and make you fuck a drool and forget that you were even in prison three fucking years and shit. He forgot. He lost track of time, but I guess every prisoner does that. I'm not making fun of it, but me and him have an inside joke. And I thought I would be cool to just uh, mention this stupid ass <laughs> story that he told me a long time ago. I mean, the warden was so cool. They used to go fight fucking forest fires and clean up the mountains. And he would be like, okay, do you need to care if I take the Humvee? Cause I'm gonna sneak off and go to the beer store, see? And then we're gonna go back and I'm gonna sneak my fucking box of beer back up in my cell, baby. Nobody snitches on me, I'll be fine. I'm like, okay, okay, that's what's up, man. Really? He's like, hell yeah, the world was pretty cool as long as you wasn't too drunk and you always kept your fucking nose clean. Didn't fucking leave the shit leaving out for him to see. <laughs> Cause if the guards fucking found out, then the warden looked bad. And the warden really had to get, get, get mad, get mad or get paid one. And then you get your ass beat, baby, and you got three chances, son. And then this shit can't happen again. It can't happen again. That's all you ever fucking heard in the pen. This can't happen again. <laughs> and guess what? It kept on happening. <laughs> and Randy's still wearing. And they're like, how does this motherfucker keep acquiring gold chains and nuggets behind bars? And fucking nice sneakers before <laughs> convicts were even cool. My grandpa, yeah, because he's from the old school. He's an outlaw. A ghost rider that would never fall. He's my motherfucking road dog. Yeah, he's really my road dog, yeah. And y'all call me silly, but check this out. He went. He went behind the fence. Okay, some guy's like, hey. Goddamn Thorazine head looking motherfucker. Come over here. You not remember me? But first of all, before Randy even went to prison, the funny part was this is crazy. This is called ESP. He automatically knew where the fuck to go. He could actually take you to a chow hall that he's never been to in his life. In the next 10 years of his life that he had to go to. And this is really weird. It was like this was a spiritual calling for him. So he made the fucking best of it, best of it, never really got too stressed of it, lost three years in the track of time, taking fucking Thorazine, they would drug your mind, they would drug your mind so much that it made you lose your touch, make you drool, had your motherfucking tongue hanging to the pavement, you would trip over your own fucking drool if you didn't make it, and baby you wouldn't make it if you wasn't fucking crazy, still dealing on the inside, inside, and I love my grandpa, he's my motherfucking road dog. We would never fall. I figured I would give you this. I know that one thing, I owe you this. But you know what? He always believed in me no matter what the fuck that I was doing. Randy seen me start from the sea, from the ground up. That's me. So he would respect this more than anybody. So I figured that I owed him this. So I'm giving it to you tenfold, tenfold. Baby. I'm putting a hundred in your billfold. <laughs>
when he wasn't looking, instead of taking money, I was sitting there and trying to give it to you, baby. Yeah, and I'm gonna come real soon, probably today. I'm gonna bring uh, half a fifth of liquor. We can't tell Nanny, cause she will find it each and every time. Oh, he couldn't even hide a bottle of liquor. He's a good hider. Like, he's a professional. He was a prisoner. <laughs> you get it? So if that means my grandma was the warden, shit. He hid a bottle in the toilet one time and it got stopped up. She lifted up the lid and found it right there. She's like, God damn it, Randy, you told me you wouldn't drink it. I knew I smelled it on your breath when I give you an automatic kiss just to test that theory. Because I knew if I kissed you, you, you would kiss me no matter what. And I knew that I would smell it. And if I was pissed, I might say something. But, you know, I might not. Hell. As long as you weren't being a fucking real dick. <laughs> I love y'all. I'm about to come see y'all. I love you, Nanny. I love you, Randy. And Philip, I love you, man. Please say prayers for my uncle. He's in the hospital again.